Hmm. Well, with all respect to her being absolute best girl, she does seem sort of a the, the like, teenage. Why is it so quiet suddenly? Type. The, uh, like, oh, whatever, Dad. It's not like I care. <laughs> Type. Can I do that in the... What voices did I have? Uh, what's the highest voice I can do? It's me! It's a high voice! That's just annoying! No, that's not. That's Mickey Mouse. Did not do that. I'm not sure. That's, uh, what's that? That was one of the, the medics, I think, that she had this voice. And then I brought it back down for the Okay, so this way. So I'm gonna bring it down a bit. How, how far down can I bring this? Because it's a different voice type. It's like, whatever, Dad. That's it. That's Mickey Mouse again, though, isn't it? She has the ears as well. Okay, whatever, man. That's probably because they are the barbarians. And no. <laughs> I'm gonna have to switch back between that voice and whatever I have for her. Ah, this is a nightmare. Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> uh, right. Nice. No, that's the, the the pen and mouth for the whatever that is. Sinjima. Right. Range like that. Like this one are more than toxic to those who get out of that alive. As for the ones that stay behind, the church, Inquisition, that's not why they have no way of to make it here. They already pay too high a price. They wouldn't want to see any of this. It's just like how I never wanted to look at my legs when I was a kid. No matter how much I tried, they just couldn't run. He barely has his now, doesn't want to see any of those broken parts. I can't keep these voices up. I'm gonna, this is gonna be like 20 minutes of just that. I chose this. Look at you, eating yourself in an lash again. I'm starting to feel bad. I can't tell you're joking this time. It's whatever, man. Just just keep telling you, whatever, man. That's how I did your voice. Not like I care. Electromagnetic pulse field release. So, should we go up or down? Your call. I'm thinking up. I'm not entirely sure why. I feel it's up is the way to go. This place is like a tower. A tower? How tall do you think it is? Not like I care, but you know, be vital information, I guess, to know. The part that ends above ground is at most three stories. What could its purpose be? You know, if you if you really cared about that sort of thing. In that case, I guess we should go down. Huh? You just reminded me that we have no idea how far down it might go. Let's find out then. Don't worry, I got your back. That puts my mind at ease, though I do hope we won't end up in a fight. I should do a high voice for her too, shouldn't I? <laughs> hmm. It's dark in here. The lighting system is busted. You can't fix it? No, oh, she's glasses was a lower then I guess I can go high for her maybe. I don't really know. I don't know what I'm doing. You can't fix it? The Iberian technology here is several decades old. The writing is nothing like Rathians. If you gave me a few days. Don't worry about it then. Well I closure and engineering, worry about it later. You won't be staying in this coffin pit for long. I have to pronounce the S, because that's any anyone that has to do with poison pronounces the S's like that. <laughs> and then and then we got voices. It's a it's a it's a whole it's a whole journey, but we're getting we'll get there in the end. Coffin. It's an analogy, or maybe not. There is a foul stench lingering in this building. It's been abandoned for years, and then it's flooded with seawater. Bird in one mind. Shh. Shh. Huh? Say, if we don't talk, do you suppose we'll hear ghosts screaming? 
Look at ghosts! Oh, it's just a joke. Try not to talk so hard on my clothes. I like this new outfit a lot. <laughs> oh. We should switch on our portable erythium lamps. Now it's much brighter. Hmm. You seem to be a big fan of these technological ruins. This kind of technology only exists in the coastal towns in the past. You don't see them much in Iberia these days. What are they for? For observation? To relay signals? Could be for sightseeing? Perhaps it was for locking people up. Or perhaps it was for locking people up. Possibly. When we look at the Iberia of the past, we see the technology that they left behind. Like gold. <laughs> Apparently my voice can't sustain that for too long. Alright, do it again. Behind, like gold covered in dust. Yet during those radiant times, there were countless bones buried underneath El Dorado. I'm sorry. What are you apologizing for? The bones of the e-girls. E we took my ancestors away to a beer have long been eroded by sea waves. I don't hate Iberia, nor do I hate the Aegir people, and I suppose I don't even hate myself as much anymore. This all thanks to the Doctor and you, Glow. Does this technology give any bad memories? All I care about is whether this place will be of any use to Rhodes Island. In the end, this is what we're here for, no? Right, we're here to scout our surroundings, to analyze the data, to confirm what we can retrieve. Too bad this place has been torn apart and set out. If it was just a time and environment, the parts wouldn't be this wrecked. Look at this part here, not so far. Ah! What's wrong? Why did you pull out your franker all this sudden? Th there's a ghost! A ghost? You mean a shadow in the path ahead? It isn't moving, doesn't seem to be alive. The epic. Well, let me walk. O let me. Let me hop over there on my one leg. <laughs> Cause I. I gotta pose. <laughs> I gotta. I gotta pose. I'm in a gang, yo. <laughs> Searching from this get up. It seems he was a bounty hunter. We haven't made it very far from the entrance. Perhaps he was the one who cracked it open, and he died here after the. Ca he came inside. Oh, I see. Wait, let's not get any closer yet. Hmm? We still don't know how he died. You think it could be dangerous? The bounty hunter died so close to the entrance. We'll have to watch out for whatever killed him. Hmm. Stand back a little more. I can smell the scent of the seawater. Seawater? We're pretty far away from the shore. Hmm. You don't mean... Though Blue Poison told Colossus to say where she is, she continued to hop towards the corpse. She kneels down about a meter away, observing it closely. Okay, it's just some seagrass. It's a full skeleton. No sign that we was eaten by any monsters. And there are no other fatal injuries. No trace of any toxins that could lead to death either. Judging from his posture, he likely got himself tied up in seagrass and drowned. I don't see any water though, it's dry everywhere. Take a close look at the rust left on the wall. Oh, well, these are areas are more rusted than others. I can't really differentiate between a lower voice anymore. Watch the low. <coughs> if I go too low, then it just goes as this. I can't see some areas that are more rusted than others. So this place was flooded twice then. The seawater destroyed the building the first time around. Whatever its function was, that was when it failed. The second time, the seawater gushed into this place again. 
filling its insights once more. And this fool bastard happened to be in here at the time. He likely thought he'd hit the jackpot and was happily tearing away the thing in the wall. He didn't manage to escape in time when the sea water began to flood in the building and to shiver us had his arms and legs caught. He lost his life after struggling for a while. You can't really blame him. He was a curanta, and they're known as greedy bastards that want to loot these areas. Poor guy. Didn't know it's drunk the sea. The doctor, that's Dr. Luke Hand, of course. <laughs> it's the dumbest ongoing joke, isn't it? The ones mentioned that the research on the ocean is for the most part done only by a handful of oceanologists. It's not a very popular field. Well, it's not really that strange. We're only interested in the things that we can see and conquer. Perhaps the Iberia was the past was the sole exception. It's on the past. I haven't seen the ocean myself here. Huh. I'm not even sure why you're so sensitive to the scent of seawater. Have you heard that rumor? Uh, whatever, man. What about the disasters? We don't talk about that. That's not allowed in Iberia. You're all used to waiting the shop check. It's hard to kick your habits. We don't talk much about our homeland of Rhodes Island. So each of us a different impression of that incident. And sometimes even about the whole area. I've talked to Weedy about it. Both of us are eager. eager. <laughs> I want to say eager all so bad. Who grew up in Iberia. I, I don't know why. I mean, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> and I've come to realize that a beer right in her eyes is totally different from the one I see. That's nothing strange, no? If you're not allowed to discuss that incident, then the only thing you'll remember of it is a small fragment that you saw with your own eyes. They are taking the chance to piece the fragments together from people. Oh, there's only the two of us now. I could talk about it, but I'm afraid to do that. It's like suffering has my throat blocked. I'm worried that as soon as I talk, the shadows cast an apothecary will charge towards me. And I say that even though I know it's just shadows cast by the original lamp. Shadows? What a fine analogy. The skillful redirect everyone's attention away just that they fear the shadows rather than the enormous truth that lies behind. It's so cold, but I'm sweating. In the past, I would never have imagined that I could stand here and talk to you about this. Everyone feels so way. Our process is pitch black, sealed off building is protecting us. There's a that boy in here and we don't know what lies ahead. This keeps me even more at ease in a wide open space. The walls here give us a false sense of security, a sense that everything is under control. You were right. At least there is no not repair vice there. You know, it's, yeah, yeah, it'd be really bad if there was like just a guy sitting here. Just just some person. Just just some just some some person here. No, I'm not sure about that. Stop trying to scare me. Okay, okay, I'll stop. Back to the topic of the disaster. The Inquisition isn't actually to blame for that decision. The decision was not to talk about was made by the Eagers who came ashore. Huh? I guess I was performing self-protection. Self-protection? Do you know why the Eagers came ashore? I don't know. I thought we were meant to be here to begin with. That seems most likely in Shona Greer, that. It's like a voice gets progressively low. I can't do these voices. But I'll, tr I'll continue anyway. I'm not too familiar either. Yeah, but you know more than we do at the very least. It's funny, the history slowly disappeared from the eager memories and we are the ones who still remember any of it. My, my ancestors were taken away by the eager some hundred years ago. They wanted the toxic ability that we are born with. 
Why is that? They kept attracting the toxins for experiments. They were trying to figure out whether the subterranean toxins could be used as some kind of weapon. But are they trying? <laughs> Come on, voice. Come on, you can do it. Oh, they're trying to attack with that. It's more Mickey Mouse than ever. Oh god, the high voice is failing me. I have no idea. How could I have seen it? From my elders tell me it was an enormous, terrifying monster that doesn't exist on land. It's from the sea. All I can say is that extraordinarily likely. I thought about asking a doctor or Dr. Kaltze, or even a hunter's directly. Once I heard of an operator Scotty, this question immediately rose to the top of my mind. I doubt she'd tell you. Right, I don't think so either. I didn't ask her in the end. I know she have the courage to find out the truth. Just like the Akers who came ashore, it took them several hundred years to forget that fear. That's how they could finally put down roots with their minds at ease to slowly become part of Iberia. No one would cost a sign new life to earn for himself to fight what could be an endless war. Trust no one, nobody knows when that disaster would actually strike, and when it actually strikes, everything could be futile. Even I wish that I could live a new life, even after doctors told me so much. In that case, perhaps we should turn back then. We can still make it. Perhaps. We're still going straight ahead. Oh, you're right, we're still going straight. Thinking back after all these years, I haven't once thought about giving up my abilities to use my toxin. Perhaps I've never managed to break free of the souls of those Hagers who enslaved my ancestors. And deep down in my heart, I believe that the toxins in me will get the <coughs> anime to make for. That's the same hallway. <sighs> How far have we come? I lost track. Me too. This tower is steeper than I expected. Uh, taller, the confined space here is disrupting our senses. Oh, I think I'm hallucinating. What did you see? Blinks. A light up ahead. Huh? And it's slowly floating upwards. Huh? Quietly. Switch your light. Switch your light off. Amid the darkness, there is a white light swaying not far away. Blue poison makes sure this isn't a reflection of their lamps. Is it an illusion or is it real? Which scenario is more dangerous? Let's get closer. Slowly now. Don't surprise them. Is it a threat? Prepare for combat. Frank, are right, ready. Okay, we'll be making contact soon. There's a corner up ahead. Watch my hand. I'll knock free time. Kind of free. A bolt whizzes through the air. It strikes the fuzzy white light. No, not quite. Just as it was about to strike the object, the trajectory curved to the side. It's no problem. No one can see it. The bolt split in two soon after. It was shot. One in the front and one in the back, capturing the white light. The very next moment, the white light suddenly expands. Franker, maximum power! Wait, wait, wait! wait. Amplify microwave. I, 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 I mean no harm. Huh? <coughs> oh, I hit my back. What a shock wave! Please don't do that again. If it's worse you want, you should stop casting, Caster. Uh, you, you mean my light? No, you're mistaken. This is just for lighting up my surroundings. I defended myself on non reflex. Please believe me. I don't want to hurt you at all. No wonder it feels kind of warm and bright. Nothing about it makes me feel sick. Plow, don't let your guard down for shit. Rich in a watcher, not to be underestimated. This seems a little special even. Mm. But put it down, please. Could you also move your bolt away from my neck? Just a little, please. I'm too scared and brief now. Mm. I can lower my crossbow. But you need to drop your stuff too. If you try anything funny, 
Believe me, reflexes are no match for my bolts. Oh, okay. The light extinguishes as soon as the girl throws her staff away. Rich name lamp. All right. So that light was yours. Are you after us? No, that isn't what I meant. I was waiting down below. There's no one else here. And when I saw your light, I thought maybe somebody decided to check this place out. So I climbed the stairs to meet this guest. You sure you've been here for a while? Who are you? Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Aria. Oh, are you, are you an Iberian? Yeah, yeah, well, is it obvious? I figured I'd ask if you said no, I would have guessed Colombia you know, to win. I have my wish to make you talk. Oh, that sending chills though, I spy. You're an Iberian, a caster, and you're a Swirkish Light. Are you affiliated with the Inquisition? The Inquisitions? No, 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 no. I haven't even, I haven't even met them. What are you doing here then? Isn't this almost an interrogation? We're just here to shock this place out. It's more efficient to task her directly. Besides, it doesn't seem like she noticed anything's off yet. Huh? What am I doing here again? Oh, uh, well, I'm not actually so sure myself. Huh? You have amnesia, perhaps? No, no, of course not. I remember I got here until I spent the last couple of days here. Two days ago, I asked a local boy any opportunities to make some money in the area. I needed to work, otherwise I would go hungry. He took the last few coins I had and told me I could come seek riches here. Sounds like she ran into a con man. Mm -hmm. He might have mistaken me for a bounty hunter. Other bounty hunters used to come into this area in the past. You have a staff and you will. Looking for my a well off family. By your parents. They may wait for you and to cry a young lady for your for adventure. I was so tired, so they misunderstood me. They probably didn't. They could tell right away what a gullible girl you are. <laughs> is, is that funny? No, no, my friend here may be a little shy around strangers. But seems to be worried about you. Who <coughs> <coughs> did that? This, well, thanks, it's, it's okay, I'm, I'm just lost. And since I saw a lighthouse here, I thought I'd come rest in here a little. Huh? I, I was lost, yes. No, there's one I was asking, I said there used to be a lighthouse? Oh yes, you can find lighthouses everywhere in Iberia. Have you never seen one before? Shakes head. Oh, perhaps you're only seen along the coastline. Been away for about half a year now, and that, uh... The town's far from the coast and have a lighthouse. So how long is your hair? God damn. Did you grow up by the sea? Y yes, not far away from here. It's a small town, so you probably haven't heard of it. How is it, how is it doing? Uh, okay, I guess? There aren't that many people here, so we all get along well. My teacher said we're lucky to cease disaster spared our home. Phew, that's great. Well, ex except our lighthouse. Ever since that day our lighthouse has never lit up again. Since that day? Right, that one day, uh, several decades ago. The day when disaster struck. 